little more than sprawling, centerless, non-places, with towers and slabs standing in for single family, uh, uh, single family homes. urbanism in both our countries therefore presents pretty much the same challenges to architects and planners who care about community building. Both sprawling urbanisms lack any sense of place and are as a consequence dehumanizing. In each case we must find we must ways must be found to meet 21st century demographics while at the same time recapturing the sense of place and local identity that is fundamental to the society and well-being of all people. But it is not only the super dependence on the automobile that has led to the rejection of the traditional city fabric, but also the blinkered modernism of the past hundred years that celebrates systems and technological bravura and denigrates cultural and physical differences, uh, that, those, that modernism has to be held accountable. <laughs> so we have to ask ourselves, what have we lost and what do we want to lose and why do we want to lose this? The monumental city, represented by Paris, with its figural public places broad, uh, 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 and its broad, carefully defined boulevards, and then its intricate, intimate, pedestrian-scale streets and byways, and then its strategic placement of monuments, do not celebrate corporate life, as our modern cities seem to, but celebrate public life. Another great tradition which we've lost, besides the monumental city, is the garden suburb, a 19th century invention that uh, uh, brings together at an intimate scale, at the scale of a single family house in a small apartment building, the same idea of streets and axes, civic buildings, parks, and so forth. What you see here is Hampstead Garden Suburb as uh, in the city of London. We have lost this tradition as well. Le Corbusier, many of you know, not all of you, did much in so many ways to destroy the 19th century city, and indeed the early 20th century city. It was his thinking uh, that you could combine the monumental city with the garden suburb, but at a colossal scale. He called it the vertical garden suburb, but he placed all these towers along great boulevards in big park spaces. The towers were office towers, not places for people to live. And he did maintain human scale, low built rise buildings around the edges to be used for apartments. But his ideas were never realized by him. He was a great polemicist, but did not get his ideas built on his own. Regrettably, however, his ideas were misinterpreted all over the world uh, and created places such as this, which is a view of Shanghai, but it could be many, many cities, including parts of New York City, where I live. There is no sense of, of space between the buildings, no sense of community gathering places, no sense of street, no sense of a hierarchy of importance, um, just one after another relentlessly repeated towers. It's been our good fortune to have the opportunity to try to pick up where Le Corbusier began, but not to go down the road he followed. To begin, we've tried in our project at Heart of Lake, or Banque, to combine the vertical scale of towers, most residential towers, with low scale and medium scale buildings. 
and single family houses, defining streets, then a broad network of parks running throughout the development and along its periphery. I would like to say a little more about the inspiration for our plan at Jean Men. Here you see Jean Men Island in a, in a map uh, on the top left. And you can see off at the edge of it, a small island, Gulang Island, which we visited and which we were interested to discover um, many uh, things and lessons that we could take forward in our work. At Gulang Island, we were able to see a combination of traditional Chinese vernacular village streets and squares with Western-inspired architecture built in the late 19th and early 20th century. It is a rich mix that spoke to us about a way to go forward in the future and, and our work in China. So we propose at Xiamen a combination of the garden village and the point towers uh, to make the village a part of life. 